Hi Rakesh, how are you? I am fine. Do you know how to record business transactions in the books of accounts? Sorry, I don't. Don't worry. Today we will learn this. So let's go. <laughs> Hello friends, I am Rakesh Kavra with a new video for you. In our previous video we have discussed about the rules of debit and credit and we have learned which items we include in personal, real and nominal categories. And now in this new video we are going to understand how to record business transactions in the books of accounts by applying those rules of debit and credit. So let's take some business transactions these are the business transactions and now one by one we will record these business transactions in the books of account our first transaction is mr x invested dollar five thousand in the business now let's see how we will record this transaction in the books of accounts and this is our transaction to record this transaction first we have to see that which accounts are affected due to this transaction Due to this transaction, the accounts affected are cash account and Mr. X personal account. Cash account affected because uh, there is cash inflow in the business as Mr. X invested dollar five thousand, and uh, Mr. X account affected because uh, he is the giver of money to the business. After this, we have to decide the categories to which these accounts are belonged. We know that. Cash is a real account and Mr. X is a personal account. Now we have to apply the rules of debit and credit. The rule to record real account is debit what comes in, credit what goes out. And as we know that cash is a real account and due to this transaction cash is coming in the business. So therefore cash account will be debited because the rule says debit what comes in. So while recording this transaction in the books of accounts, we will debit the cash account. And the rule to record personal account is debit the receiver, credit the giver. And we know here that uh, Mr. X is the giver of money. So Mr. X personal account will be credited. And now we will pass journal entry for this transaction. So let's see. This is the format of journal, first column for date then particulars ledger folio number debit amount column credit amount column so first we will record date in the date column then we will record the debit item and as we know that cash account is uh, the debit item in this transaction so first we will record the cash account and amount dollar five thousand we will put in the debit column and now we will record the credit item and as we know in this transaction the credit item is mr x personal account but uh, to represent Mr. X personal account here we will open a separate account and that is capital account so we will credit the capital account and the amount dollar five thousand we will put in the credit column so capital account will be credited and this capital account is a representative personal account of the owner Mr. X after this we will write a short description and that is called uh, narration business is started with cash so this is the journal entry for this first transaction now let's see the second transaction our second transaction is purchase goods for cash dollar two thousand and now what journal entry we will pass for this transaction let's see this is our transaction and to record this transaction first we are to identify the accounts which are affected due to this transaction and the accounts affected are goods and the cash account goods are affected because we purchase goods and due to these goods are coming in the business and the second account affected is the cash account and as we paid cash in order to purchase the goods so therefore there is cash outflow from the business now we have to decide the category to which these two accounts are belonged goods are real account cash is also real account and now the rule to record real account is debit what comes in credit what goes out and as we know that goods are coming in the business so therefore we have to debit the goods account because the rules says debit what comes in and we have to credit the 
cash account because uh, cash is going out from the business so as per the rule we have to credit the cash account because rule says credit what goes out so the final conclusion is that we have to debit goods account and we have to credit the cash account now let's see what general entry we will pass for this transaction first we will record date in the date column 2013 January 2nd then we will record the debit item and as we know that in this transaction our debit item is goods but we will not open goods account to represent goods account we will open a separate account and uh, the separate account is the purchase account and the amount dollar 2000 we will put in the debit column now after this we will record the credit item and in this transaction our credit item is the cash account so in the next line we will record the cash account and amount we will put in the credit column then we will write a short description purchase goods for cash so this is the general entry for this transaction now let's see the third transaction our third transaction is purchase furniture for cash dollar 1000 now let's see what general entry we will pass for this transaction so as usual first we will identify the accounts which are affected due to this transaction and due to this transaction the accounts affected are furniture and cash furniture account affected because due to this transaction furniture is coming in the business and cash account affected because due to this transaction cash is going out from the business so these are the two accounts which are affected due to this transaction after that we will decide the category to which these two accounts are belonged furniture is our asset so furniture is a real account and cash is also real account now the rule to record real account is debit what comes in credit what goes out and as we know that due to this transaction furniture is coming in the business so therefore furniture account will be debited and uh, cash account will be credited because cash is going out from the business and rule says credit what goes out so the final conclusion is that furniture account will be debited and cash account will be credited now let's see journal entry for this transaction as usual first we will record date in the date column then we will record the debit item and then after we will record the credit item in the next line and after that we will write a short description furniture purchased so this is the entry for the third transaction now let's see our fourth transaction our fourth transaction is paid salary dollar 1200 now let's see what general entry we will pass for this uh, transaction as usual first we will identify the accounts affected due to this transaction and the accounts affected uh, are salary and cash account salary account affected because due to this transaction there is expense in the business and the name of the expenses is salary and cash account affected because uh, due to this transaction cash goes out from the business so these are the two accounts affected due to this transaction salary account and cash account after that we will decide the category to which these two accounts are belonged salary is a nominal account cash is a real account now we have to apply the rules of debit and credit the rule to record uh, nominal account is debit all expenses and losses credit all incomes and gains and as salary is a expense account so it will be debited because rule says debit all expenses and losses and the rule to record real account is debit what comes in credit what goes out so we have to credit cash account because rule says credit what goes out now let's see general entry for this transaction so first we will record the debit item here a debit item is the salary account so we will record salary account amount we will put in the debit column and now we will record the credit item and cash is the credit item so we will record the cash account in the next line and then we will write a short description paid salary so this is the general entry for this transaction now let's see the last transaction our last transaction is sold goods for cash dollar 200 now what general entry we will pass for this transaction L let's see so this is our transaction 
so as usual first we will identify the accounts which are affected uh, due to this transaction and the accounts affected are goods and cash goods account affected because uh, due to this transaction goods are going out from the business and cash account affected because due to this transaction cash is coming in the business and now we know that both goods and uh, cash belongs to real category and the rule to record real account is debit what comes in credit what goes out and uh, as we know that due to this transaction goods are going out from the business so therefore goods account will be credited in the journal entry because rule says credit what goes out and uh, cash account will be debited because uh, as we sold goods in cash so there is cash inflow in the business cash is coming in the business so therefore cash account will be debited so the final conclusion is that goods uh, account will be credited and cash account will be debited now let's see the journal entry for this transaction so first we will write date in the date column then we will record the debit item and uh, cash uh, account is the debit item here so cash account we will record first then we will record the credit item and here credit item is goods but to represent goods uh, we will open a separate account and here we will open sales account uh, to represent the goods account and amount we will show in the credit column then after we will write a short description sold goods for cash so this is the entry for the last transaction i hope that you understood uh, how to record business transactions in the books of accounts by applying the rules of debit and credit in this video only this much many more transactions we will learn how to record but uh, in the next video so i look forward to see you in our next video and uh, thanks for watching this video and i recommend you to visit my website www.kabraacademy.weebly.com and wish you all the best